I am so excited to be sitting here at the end of 2019. It's hard to believe that we have gone through an entire year. It seems like just yesterday I was in watch night service preparing to go into 2019 and here we are moving into 2020. And so I decided to do a video and just share with you my thoughts and reflections on 2019 and share with you some of the exciting things that we have that are coming up in 2020. So 2019 for me has not really been an easy year. I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, I embarked on a lot of new and challenging adventures, but it's not been an easy year for me. I started and ending the year with great losses, um, personal losses to me. Um, we all have challenges, and so we work through them and we grow through them. And I am blessed that I have a wonderful support system that really helps me through those times. Um, I left a job that I truly loved because the Lord was leading me in a different direction. And so I had to make probably one of the hardest professional decisions that I've ever made in my entire life. Um, but I am blessed that I am still able to help those students and because of the work I'm doing through Woodson and Associates and the Woodson Fund, I'm also able to help a lot of students across the country. So there are some benefits, but that was not an easy decision for me and actually one that I wrestled with for quite some time. And recently, I launched my new apparel line, RWIN Apparel. So I'm excited about those things. Um, so things have, even in adversity, gone well, and I am truly blessed, and I thank God. Entrepreneurship, everyone's always talking about doing it, and jumping into it, and it's exciting. It is exciting, but it is not without its challenges, both personal and professional. And honestly, there are times that you really want to give up. I have been very blessed to have probably one of the best staffs on the planet. Um... I could not do all I do without a great team, and I have a full-time staff that works remarkably well to get everything that we do done. Uh, Terrence, Amber, Brandon, they are the staff of the company that does a lot of the behind-the-scenes work, sometimes things that I don't even know they're doing, um, so that we can get everything done. Um, and that is how we have been so successful in what is considered a short amount of time. The challenge with being a visionary sometimes is it's hard to truly share what has been presented to you often in prayer um, with everyone else. You see it, you see this huge picture, you should see all that God has given you. And sometimes it's just really hard to express that fully to the people who have shared, decided to share the journey with you. But I am blessed that not only um, are the people on my team excellent at what they do professionally, but they're also spiritually in tune. So sometimes they know what I need and I haven't even had those conversations. So that has been very helpful for me. 2020 is, you know, the year of vision. And I am a visionary. Um, and so I do believe that as we move into this next year, everyone who is attached to a visionary will be blessed in some way, shape, or form. I cannot believe that God would send us into this next year and not allow all those who are connected to visionaries to be blessed. So we are going to be launching some new things. I'm excited that I will be starting my vlog from the desk of the dean um, in 2020. Some students of mine at Payne College, where I used to work, gave me that title, and it is personal to me and means a great deal to me. And so I would like to thank Chen Wei and her team for um, coming up with that name. And so I am going to keep that name because they named that for me personally. Um, and so that does mean a lot. And so I'm going to keep that. Um, I'm also going to be launching some other things. My YouTube channel will come up. And I am also excited. Everyone knows, anyone who knows me personally knows that I drink coffee 
probably too much coffee. But I use my migraines as the reason I drink coffee because, you know, caffeine helps. I drink coffee a lot. So, that being said, I am going to be starting my morning inspirational series called Coffee Conversations. So, there'll be brief, short, like five-minute snippets that I'll record and I'll be posting in the morning. They'll happen during the week. And then there will probably be one on Sunday. Short, brief, five-minute coffee conversations, inspirational vitamins. So anything that I post, please respond, provide feedback, and most of all, share, share, share. What I need is for you all to share the information I'm posting and get other people to subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my social media, because the goal is to really impact as many lives as we can. And so I hope that you all will continue to support me in this next season. Um, and we will be rolling out some new partnerships in 2020, which I am very excited about. But in addition to that, we are now prepared to expand the company. We brought on one consultant already. We have several more that have completed the process, and then we will be bringing them on in January. We brought on Dr. Hinton, who is really an enrollment specialist. And if you have not read or utilized the book that he was primarily responsible for editing, you need to get that book. And the people who contributed articles in that book are some of the foremost scholars on enrollment and HBCU knowledge and retention across this country. So it has been more than worth the investment. We also have brought on another person who I will announce later who is a specialist in housing and residence life. Um, and we are potentially about to sign a contract with an IT specialist. So if you are interested in joining Woodson and Associates as a consultant, feel free to email me. My email will be at the end of this video so that we can get you vetted and credentialed and signed with the company. There is a lot of work to do. HBCUs are viable. HBCUs are credible, and HBCUs are still producing the greatest number of graduates of African descent in this country. And then in February, February 28th, we will have our African Royalty Scholarship Gala here in Atlanta. Huge event. Huge. What do I need? I need everyone to support this event. This is not just another gala. We are trying to raise $50,000 from that evening's event for scholarships. We have opportunities. If you have a business, you can be a vendor. You can purchase program ads. If you have a larger company or even a smaller company, we have opportunities for you to become sponsors for that event. So there are ways for businesses to get involved. Tickets are on sale. You can buy tickets directly through our website or we also have an Eventbrite link, but we really need this event to be huge. Everyone can contribute. If you are not in Atlanta and unable to attend, purchase a ticket, send me an email, and notate that you would like to donate the ticket, or purchase a student ticket, because we do have some students that would like to attend, and although we have created a student rate, they still are not able to afford it. So, Purchase a student ticket, let us know, and we will make sure that there is a student who can use that ticket. Or you can even go online and just make a donation to the fund itself, and then we will make sure that that is counted in the evening's numbers. But I am personally asking that everyone helps us do this event. One of the things that I use when I'm working in education is a quote by Carter G. Woodson, who is my great grand uncle, and it simply says that education should be used to make one's life better than when we found it. And I truly believe that education in all its various forms, whether it's a four year institution, a two year institution, trade school, beauty, cosmetology school, your life should be better when you complete that process than when you found it. And the Woodson Fund's sole goal is to remove the financial barriers and other barriers to education so that young people can achieve their dream of obtaining a college 
or education degree. And we need your help because we cannot do that work alone. So we are preparing for 2020. I am in the midst of completing a few projects. I said I wasn't going to work on the 31st, but here I am working. And then I have to be at church because we have watch night service and I'm very excited about watch night. And I hope that everyone has a blessed new year and that anything that you dream, you achieve. And in the words of Mae Jameson, never be limited by other people's limited imaginations.